Hey everybody, this is my 62 Corvair. Today I'm going to be replacing the rear main seal. I've had a few problems with dripping oil and I've already replaced the oil pan gasket and the valve cover gaskets. That helped a bunch. But I'm still, still dripping just a little bit right out of the back end. And I think it's coming from around the seal that uh, on the rear of the crankshaft that goes around this pulley right here. And so I've got a new seal. It's right here. And I don't want to take any more of this apart than I have to. So I think all I have to do maybe is remove the oil filter, remove this rear motor mount right here, take this bolt out, and then get a puller in here and pull this pulley off. There's not a lot of space, but I think it's doable. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Got it up in the air now. You can see right, right here where it's dripping, coming out of right in the back end here. So right up above there is where that seal is. So that's what I'll be replacing. I've got to take these bolts off here, get this mount out of here. Before I do that, I'm gonna uh, get this back into the engine supported. Okay, I've got the engine supported. I've just got a couple of jacks on each side there. I don't want to crush the oil pan or anything, so I went right at the oil pan bolts on each side. Now I've got this thing on a lift, which makes it a lot easier, but you can do the same thing on the ground. You're just going to be rolling around on the floor. I got two bolts here, here and here. And then that whole motor mount assembly should come out, I think. Okay, I've got chocks under the wheel. The emergency brakes on and it's in gear. So I was able to break this loose without too much problem. And I guess I need to take this belt off. Well, it looks like maybe this is gonna, this is gonna work. There we go. And there's the seal. Right here, this thing here, we gotta pop that off. You see it does look pretty oily down underneath here, so I think maybe that's where part of the, maybe most of the leak was coming from. You see it's all oily down here. Okay, let me get stuff cleaned up. We'll put the new, pop that seal out and put the new seal in. I'm ready to pull that seal out now. I kind of cleaned up this little area all around the seal because I didn't want junk, when I pop this out, any junk falling and maybe getting in the hole there. So I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Let's just see if I can pry with a big screwdriver here. I've 
got this thing. Let's see if I can get in there with that. There we go. All right, here's the old seal. Yeah, it's kind of kind of hard, kind of stiff. So, but it's not too wet around the outside. Well, I guess maybe it is a little there. I don't know if that's the problem or not, but I'm just gonna put a new seal in and hope for the best. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is get some solvent and clean the inside of this area real, real good. And then I'm gonna put a tiny bit of gasket glue around the outside of the seal and then uh, pop it in there. Here's the new seal ready to go in. I put a little bit of um, gasket maker glue around the back part of the seal. I didn't wanna overdo it because it'll just make it harder to come out the next time somebody has to take it out. And then I also put some grease inside the interior part where the pulley's gonna slide in there. So let's see if we can get it knocked in. This is a little brass hammer I have. It's got a little weight to it, but it's not very big, so I can get in here and kind of tap around on this a little bit. Okay, feels like it's bottomed out all the way around. So that'll be good. Seals in. Got this rear pulley all cleaned up. It's really nice, no groove right in there or nothing. I put a little light film of grease around the outside here. Um, it's got a keyway. There's a key in the crankshaft right here. So I gotta rotate this around until I find that key. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video now. Um, the new seal's in, the pulley's back in, so it'll just be reverse order of putting the motor mount back in here, putting the oil filter on, putting the belt back on, just the reverse order of what we took off. So, not too bad of a job, fairly easy. So, uh, that's one way to replace that seal without having to drop the motor down or do anything weird.